My mother grew up washing clothes on a rock in a river in a tiny village in north central Mexico called Tepehuanes. I have stackable milas in my condo in New York, and yet we are exactly the same person. My mother came to this country when she was 16. She worked folding men's shirts in the garment district in downtown LA. She looked like Jackie Kennedy. I got half her good looks and more luck than I had a right to. I also got her sense of humor and I could walk and talk at the same time and so I became an actress. <laughs> While she stayed home watching novelas on channel 34, I was starring in a sitcom on NBC. I believed myself to be so advanced, so American compared to her, that I often lost patience with my mother. Why did she have to be so subservient? So Mexican. And everything worried her. All she did was sigh and say little things in Spanish to God. <laughs> Ay, que Dios me los bendiga. Ay, que Dios me los cuide. Ay, 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 I couldn't take it. My mother loved this country, but it frightened her. The outside world was a scary place, a place from which to protect the people she loved. The first time I was allowed to walk to school by myself was in the first grade, and she followed me the whole way there. Yes, hiding behind trash cans and parked cars just to make sure I got there okay. I pretended not to notice, but I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> Then I had kids. My mother kept us home from school when she thought it was too cold outside. We lived in California. <laughs> and she would dance my underwear over the heater before I would put it on. I swore I would never be that kind of Mexican mother. Then I had kids. My mother had only a sixth grade rural Mexican education, but I had gone to college. I moved out of my parents' house before I was married. My mother lit candles for me until the day of my wedding, a wedding my husband and I paid for because I was one modern American woman. Then I had kids. My mother said it was a bad idea to take a newborn out of the house for the first month. To be on the safe side, I made it four. <laughs> By the time I finally drove my son to the mall in my VW Jetta, I was shaking so badly from fear of the marketplace that I had to turn around and come right back home again. I did continue working after I had kids, and we hired a nanny to help out. We bought a house three blocks from my parents, and while the nanny was watching the kids, my mother came over every day to watch the nanny. <laughs> Fortunately for the nanny, she was exemplary. She became a beloved part of the family. In fact, she now cares for my mother. But at that time, my mother was not taking any chances, and neither was I. I was embarrassed at how much like my mother I was becoming, but I couldn't seem to help myself. The programming was too strong. When the kids were in elementary school, we joined a carpool. Very nice family, both parents were dentists, I remember, except that I was so worried about sending them to school on the highway in a stranger's car. You guessed it, I actually rode with them to school in the carpool. <laughs> it's only for a couple of weeks. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> the truth is, I spent most of my kids' childhood in a frenzy of worry. Were they getting the right food? Were they going to the right schools? And believe it or not, I also worried that the more American mothers, the gabacha mothers, somehow knew more than I did about how to raise successful children. Six years ago, my husband's work brought us to New York City. This was an enormous move. Daunting doesn't even begin to cover it. 
for an overprotective Mexican mother like me to put her daughter on the subway by herself and my precious son going off to college? Let's just say it was a time of huge adjustments. But I had no choice. If you want your children to succeed, you have to let them leave your side. Our nest is empty now. Our daughter is in conservatory in Cleveland, and our son graduated from Columbia last year and is in Miami with Teach for America. My mom is in California. She calls me every night to make sure my front door is locked. <laughs> She's my role model. I admit it, I became her. I thought I would be different, but instead I became the worst kind of Mexican mother. In fact, if there were a basilica near my home, I would crawl to it on my hands and knees. <laughs> I've even started sighing. Ay, que Dios me los bendiga. Ay, que Dios me los cuide. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you. <laughs>